I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a few questions from our subscriber. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for making this channel a very useful one and your questions enrich my channel. Now let's see how to solve this question which is based on sine and cosine law. Two planes leave the same airport at the same time in different directions. Plane A travels an unknown distance in the direction of south 20 degrees east. So let's sketch as we draw, uh, as we read the question. So the first part is that the plane leaves in the direction from south 20 degrees east. So that means this is south, this, that is north for us, 20 degrees east. So that is 20 degrees east in that direction. Plane B travels an unknown distance in the direction which is from north 40 degrees east. So from north we are looking for 40 degrees let's say that is 40 degrees and let this be the direction for the second plane. So let's call these as A and B. The two planes are now 300 kilometers apart so the distance between these places is 300 uh, kilometers and plane B is at a bearing of north 30 degrees east from plane A. So from plane A, let's say A is somewhere here, B is somewhere there. From A, it is at a bearing of north 30 degrees east. That's a tricky part and we need to understand this part, right? So that means... Uh, if I see from A, then the, let's write, draw the coordinates here somewhere, right? So this position is at a bearing of 30 degrees from A, right? So if I draw a line from here, in that case, that particular line should be at an angle of 30 degrees from north right so from north 30 degrees east right so this is 30 degrees do you understand so that is what is critical so we have to draw this line here and see where it meets so we meet here do you get an idea so you could also see from this side so this angle which we are talking about this angle is 30 degrees so i hope the concept is clear right so so that is how it is correct so let's now write down everything which we have got so this is the point b for us let's call this as o the origin first angle for a is 20 degrees and for b it was 40 degrees from north so if this is 40 degrees from north let us extend Okay, so what we really get here is that the this angle here is you can see the Z pattern. So this angle is 40 degrees. This angle is 40 degrees. And now that line basically is the angle right there. Right. So this angle here is 30 degrees. So the angle inside the triangle is only 10 degrees. You get the idea. So we got one angle, which is 10 degrees. Now let's look into the other angles. We also know the distance. So we know one distance of 300 kilometers, which is distance between A and B. Let me write point A here now. And we know this angle. Now 40 degrees means to complete, we need 50 more, 90 degrees. And 20 here means this is? 70 correct so we have another triangle so let me sketch this triangle now so we have a triangle right there so i'll enlarge it a bit and write down all the angles which we worked out so 
So the total here is 50 plus 70 which is 120. The angle here is 10 degrees. The side which we know is 300. How far did both planes travel? We need to find both these sides. Correct. This is O, plane A position and plane B position. The angle here should be how much? 130 minus, take away from 80, 180, we get 50, right? So that makes 180 degrees for the whole triangle. Correct? Now it is simpler. So for plane A, that is distance OA, is square root of, we have to apply sine law. Since we know one combination, that is side and opposite angle, now we can find the other sides. So to find OA, we could write this as OA over sine of 10 degrees. That should be equal to what is known to us, the side AB, which is 300, over sine of 120 degrees. So that gives you OA equals to 300 times sine of 10 degrees divided by sine of 120 degrees. Correct? So we get one answer. The other one, we could again use the same sine law and find what OB is. So OB will be equal to Again, the same ratio, right? So OB over, now angle opposite to OB is 50 degrees. So I'll replace 10 with 50 degrees and write this as 300 times sine of 50 degrees divided by sine of 120 degrees. Is that clear? So let's just use calculator to find the answer. So we have 300 times sine of 10 degrees divided by sine of 120 degrees. So for the first one, we get OA as 60.15. Nearest tenth means, I'll write this as 60.2 in kilometers. For two, 300 times sine of 50 degrees divided by sine of 120 degrees. And that gives us distance of 265.36 or 265.4 kilometers. So that is how you are going to find the solution of this particular question. Correct? So I hope it is absolutely clear. Now the second statement which is the two planes are now 300 kilometers apart and plane B is at a bearing of north 30 degrees east from plane A is a kind of tricky statement. So read it carefully. Get a right diagram, analyze the situation, apply sine law. So this is direct application of sine law. Since we had a combination of uh, two sides and an angle, right? Since it was, uh, let's uh, say, we can say angle, angle and side, we applied sine law. Perfect. So that's how you do it. I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.